Now the biggest question right now, ducks. Any of you guys want to go on jet ski? Have you guys ever been on GP 1800R? That's the big question. You guys want to go? Come on. Let's go for a ride. I don't think they want to go. Welcome back, Baywolf Nation. As you can see, we're missing the ski. We got one skin one. We're still, still missing that Sea-Doo RXP exit. Uh, I'll get all about what's all happened with that and um, go into somewhere different a ride today. Uh, this is the Wakama River. And this is where there's some pretty big alligators. I think the world record largest alligator ever caught in the whole state, South Carolina, was on the Wakama River. Also, too, we had a couple of months ago, um, dolphin was found way up here. So this is way up heading off the intercoastal waterway, but a total different area than where I ride. Uh, I've seen bull sharks here before too, which they obviously travel up the um, intercoastal waterway. So being that it's, you can tell I'm wearing the whole wetsuit today, it's cold. So that means alligators are probably out. But some of the research I did is alligators start hibernating uh, where they don't eat it once it gets under 70 degrees. So it's been pretty bipolar with the weather changing. Who knows, I mean, but there are huge alligators out here. Definitely on the stand-up, this would be the most scariest of places in the area to be going riding in. Uh, but some news, um, what's all going on. So, uh, stay to the end of the video too, because with the giveaway I have with November and December, if you haven't heard all about it, stay tuned to the end of the video. I'll get all about that. Also too, if you haven't checked out the I Am Beowulf merch at I Am Beowulf. Dot com. Make sure you guys check it out. And also too, this is my first time using, I got the GoPro Hero 8, so this is the first time. So I'd like to see what you guys think, because usually I've been swapping between uh, my GoPro Hero 6 and uh, when, I'm not, when I'm riding and when I'm kind of standstill filming, I've been using my Osmo Action. Uh, so let me know how you guys think of this. How, I'm really curious how this thing's gonna turn out. I actually don't have the floaty for it, so I'm like really looking and worried about dropping it, because I don't wanna lose it. They, just came out with a new one and I haven't got it yet. And I was like, I'm testing this thing out. Uh, so check out the I Am Beowulf merch at IamBeowulf.com. Also, I have an Amazon store at Amazon.com slash shop slash I Am Beowulf. That's where you can actually purchase uh, the GoPro Hero 8 at Amazon.com slash shop slash I Am Beowulf. Um, so some news, I'm almost out of no wake zone, so I'll be quick so you guys can enjoy the ride. Uh, after a whole week and a half after when the RXPX had the issue, uh, I was kind of in text tag with Revo Racing, but nobody physically wanted to talk to me. Um, they really haven't done anything. I mean, they talked to me and said they're there, but they haven't done anything. They haven't even sent me a prop. Uh, like I said in past videos, all they're wanting is the old prop back, which I paid for. So why would you take something I paid for and not even replace it? They aren't even talking about replacing it. They're not talking about doing anything. And uh, I'm just quite upset still with that because uh, I had to stick the old prop back in there because they're not doing anything. Really aren't cooperative. Uh, the prop's made in Taiwan, which is nothing knocking Taiwan, but uh, there's nobody wants to really do anything, which I'm just really upset because um, it's like catastrophic damage to the whole pump assembly from this. I'll keep you guys posted what's all going on besides the hall being cracked and whatnot. There's a whole bunch of stuff. I mean, it's like it, the whole ski is wrecked from running their prop um that they sell with their kit they might not make it but they they do offer in their kit so i'm out in the no wake zone also too at this spot there's been a lot of debris as i can see there's like leaves and stuff so i just want to be a little careful coming through here so i'm going to kind of do one pass but it is some tight turn area instead of just straight so i know you guys will enjoy the video uh anyways enough dwelling on stuff it's always to stay positive be driven to win and let's get this video going because i'm ready to let this ski rip and uh, enjoy out here i've not been out here I don't know if I've ridden this out here yet. So, no, I think once I did a video of my brother in the past, we came out here once and that's it. And I don't know if he was, what ski, I think he was riding the RXPX. Well, let's, let's do it.
So we got a little chance to chit chat again. This is, I hate, that's why I go that one spot because it's like non-stop riding. There's no, no wake zones. Um, so, you know, we'll see what all happens with it. Um, but it's like real aggravating with the damage. And I'll do another video kind of talking about what, you know, if you're planning on modding your ski, you know, what you should be avoiding from. Because I, you know, before I bought the prop, I was concerned because I saw posts that these are breaking. I swear the post that looked, it was on Riva Racing. I swear they took it down, but I know before I bought it, it had to have been the new, newer prop than the oldest Solus prop. Um, but they're claiming it's the old Solus prop, but it was the same ski as my 2018 CDU RXP. So made that viewer who, you know, if you watch the channel that happened to, let's shed some light about what your experience was because it sounded like Reva Racing covered everything with that person's ski and they're not doing nothing for me. They just said they're there, but not doing anything. It's confusing. Crazy thing too. So when Hurricane Florence hit, that you see that building right up there? That was all the way to the second store. This whole house was completely underwater. I mean, it's crazy, but people still live out here. I don't understand why.
some type of motor right there, like some type of engine or something. Weird. I'm not really pushing to the limit because I want to be careful there's nothing in, like I don't want to hit something, you know, debris or whatnot because I just haven't been out here for a long time. Usually if you're in a new spot, you know, kind of scope it out, especially where this, where there was some flooding uh, over the summer here. That's probably one reason I didn't come here a lot. And plus two, there was a lot of, um, I don't even know if I'm covered with bugs. Well, if you've seen some past videos, uh, the times I've been here, I was just like head to toe covered in bugs. And uh, now it's cold out, so there shouldn't be a lot of bugs, but who knows? I know, it was a little duck. See, these ducks dive underwater. And you saw those, like the waves of the bubbles. And that was, it was that, this is a little duck. Look at, there it goes back down again. What a weird, <laughs> I was like, oh, that, there it goes again. Look at it, he's on trying to hide. Look at it, it's like, gonna... see if we can get close to this duck. That's so crazy. Wonder where it went. Oh, it's probably right there. That's so crazy. I th I thought it was an alligator.
every day is Earth Day. Look at this foam. crazy how stuff popped up since I've been going through. Just a little wet, like half, like my legs, my fingers sticking in the water, and it's the temperature is dropping. It's crazy because today was like mid 60s, and then it thinks that the low tonight is supposed to get down to like 39 degrees. So definitely want to get back way before it gets that cold. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed this because this is kind of cool coming out somewhere a little different. Uh, the main spot is probably my favorite to come to, but it's kind of cool to change it up. And if you see when I'm passing through on uh, a lot of damage to people's homes, that's actually from like the hurricane and uh, like not from the storm itself, but uh, to people have never been through one, it's more like the flooding and stuff that happens. So some people just don't rebuild. Uh, I think a lot, some of those homes, nobody lives in them. Other people are still rebuilding. Um, because there was a lot of flooding uh, that happened this past year that flooded a lot of homes again. Uh, then with Hurricane Florence, so it's, it's pretty intense with living on the water here. How dangerous, and if you've seen um, when I go on the intercoastal, how high some of these homes are from the water, uh, their chances of flooding are slim, but there are other places like Socrates is so far down the intercoastal. Uh, anybody new to the channel, I was gonna buy a house that was near the water that had its own private boat ramp to get into the intercoastal and I didn't buy it because they finally admitted that the house went under like really far underwater and then when Hurricane Florence hit that house um, this has been when I decided not to buy it it got all the way to the second story with flooding so if I moved there everything I owned would have been destroyed and the water rise real fast sometimes if it's flooding you don't got much time but nothing compared to the people like Australia California uh, you know, you got South America with the fires and stuff. It's no joke. I mean, some of those people, when they got those fires, man, I mean, you might even have time to do anything. You just gotta go. Drop what you're doing and leave. Uh, so definitely, it's, any natural disaster is scary. Fire, fire is scary because it takes a lot to 
get it out. When it floods, you can still get people and stuff like that, you know, but all those turns, you gotta be real careful. <laughs> here too then just being careful that there's debris and stuff in the water because you really can't go full speed with this thing out here because it's just if something got in front of you or something you know struck it I mean you don't want to go flying into the tree uh, it's better to be kind of you know not careful going through there but just any of my viewers don't it's not the same as intercoaster where it's wide open and straight you know if something got out of control where I was, had no control and flying ashore I could still have a chance to jump bail out here you go too fast, I mean, you won't have enough time to even like blink. So that's just something to think about when you're at it. Uh, definitely, it's. I haven't been out here. It's, this is like kind of my OG place of riding. I haven't been out here for a while. So it's nice. This is kind of where the channel started going out riding. Because when I moved out here, it was just kind of getting familiar. There's so many different boat ramps to go to. So this is kind of was my OG spot of going. So it's kind of cool going through here. Kind of interesting how things have changed of like different skis I've owned. Uh, different stuff. We actually got the DNR sitting right up there. Uh, I don't know what they're doing here, but the DNR here may, may, may the DNR want to autograph or something. I don't know. There's hopefully no tickets. I kind of parked like sideways in the parking lot um, Because I didn't think anybody's coming back here. Also too, I didn't park. I don't park at the like in the water because it's you know in case people have to go in here I didn't do it here. Uh, you know, I wasn't gonna be out long. It's just this is kind of it isn't like a place you want to block um but yeah the other place i'm not into doing that either um but if it's you're only out for a short ride uh and it's the off season nobody's coming uh then it's fine but actually there's two dnr out here so may they're going out there that one boat you saw me kind of eyeing uh it's a guy going out here to go hunting to kill like ducks and stuff and it's it's kind of sad it's kind of like crazy it's like you see these ducks you know they they're wild ducks they don't mean no harm why would you want to shoot something at least they know they're smart you guys are smart stay here where then we'll kill you no hunters come here they're safe protected i remember originally coming here there used to be those white ducks there used to be like 20 of them and now there's only three and i think the last time i was here there was two so there's actually one more it's kind of sad when you see that happening so those as soon as i pulled the jeep up the ducks came it's crazy every time i come here these ducks like i get pretty close to them uh you've seen past videos you guys have seen over the years of coming here that these ducks get um pretty close when i come here it's always when it's when it's time for me to go they get close they're like this you know earlier they could have gotten a ride on the jet ski can you imagine that how epic that would be having three of those ducks on this thing i used to have back in the day i'd had uh blue swedish ducks and they're they were a cool p pet to have um it was just hard, you know, when you had the winter and stuff, you had to make sure they're, you know, like, not, you know, because they can, they can withstand pretty good temperatures. They just can't be wet in the winter time, you know? Seems like a super soaker. If somebody was on the dock, you just get them all wet. Ducks! Those ducks are probably like, oh man, oh man, he might he might actually take us out there. That one duck was giving that look like, oh, this, this could be really, we have to go for a ride. <laughs> I'm 
want to thank you guys for coming along for, with my adventures. So, like I said, to stay tuned in that video, I talk all about what the giveaway is for November, December. If you haven't been up to date seeing the videos, and this is the one you've seen. Um, what I have is I'm doing both the giveaways combined, November, December. So there's going to be two winners, and it's going to be whoever's picked first gets to pick through the two items. The second person gets what's left over. Sorry, but it just it gives people options because maybe someone who's a viewer isn't jet skiing. They like to watch it, but they don't jet ski, so a wetsuit would be kind of pointless for them. And maybe they like Michael Jordan. I don't know. That's why I kind of combined this. I thought it was a cool thing to do for you guys. The first item is a signed Michael Jordan photograph. Uh, this is, like I said in past videos, I used to live in the Midwest, so this is something I had uh, personally got. I, like I said to you, I did the Michael Jordan basketball camp. So this is something on my personal collection that you know I'm giving back to you guys because I appreciate you guys watching the channel. So this is a piece of history right here. This is the best basketball player to ever exist. Besides LeBron James, he's behind him, but we could argue about that all. That's I my favorite is Dennis Rodman, Michael Jordan, uh, and LeBron James. But well, let's not even get into arguments. Everybody has their own opinion. It's what's awesome in life. So the other one is a size large jet tribe. A sharpened wetsuit. Uh, it's a two-piece, like you see me wearing the videos. So you can wear just the jacket. Um, then you got just the bottom part, which you see is the sleeves are cut off underneath. So size large, I wear a size large, or I can, uh, X large is kind of big on, or it's a, you know, a size large is perfect. I can fit in the extra large or the large, but this is pretty average size to a normal rider. So, um, also, too, check them out, JetTribe.com, because it's awesome. They donated this for the giveaway. It's a big item to be giving away to you guys. Um, it was cool to get back to it again, to a, a place that I've been like the OG of where I started riding once I moved down here before exploring all these, you know, like spots. You know, it was like the easiest to get to. Because you see, like, the main spot I go to, the boat ramp's real high, so I always have to be... Well, I can show you. I always have to be worried about getting gouged being there, even with the bumper. That's why I told you guys I don't like people going with no wake through there. I mean, it's this is easy stuff. Plus, I'm planning on doing some graphics. I'll cover up on it. Also, too, make sure to check out my Amazon store. It's Amazon.com slash shop slash I am Beowulf. I got stuff in categories on there. Definitely, uh, if you're looking for giving Christmas gifts or or stuff for yourself i mean check it out it's no matter if it's uh, holiday season or not give me a follow on instagram if you have it i am underscore beowulf also do make sure to check out the i am beowulf merch at i am beowulf.com got the cool gp 1800r hat other hats tank tops t-shirts hoodies um real nice stuff got some new stuff in the works coming out too this is stuff different than what's already up there so uh take a look at that be driven to win. Remember, every day is Earth Day. Glad to bring you guys along for the ride. Peace out, Bay Wolf Nation. <laughs>